Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a first look at a NAS from QNAP. This is the TS-464. It retails for roughly $550. US dollars. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. Now with that out of the way, for those of you unfamiliar with what a NAS is, it is a network attached storage device, which is exactly what it sounds like, storage connected to the internet. So essentially your personal cloud, if you want to abandon cloud services like Drive and stop bleeding out uh, money on a monthly basis, this may be ideal for you. If you really just want a central hub for all of your content in life, which in my case, my channel, uh, my hobby as a photographer and video uh, enthusiast, besides, you know, outside of the Digital Digest, archiving HDV content that I have from nearly 20 years ago, thanks to this beautiful uh, Sony HD uh, 700 uh, that I was able to find from a seller in the UK. Kudos to that guy because he kept this in pristine condition. But all of that aside, you get something like this and throw the drives of your choice. In my case, it will be uh, two Western Digital uh, 20 terabyte Red Pro drives that are specifically designed for use in a NAS. That's a video from for a separate day, but really, you know, five-year warranties, some best-in-class performance, and ideal for NAS because uh, these drives are designed for constant uh, access. Whereas other large form drives like this that are not rated for NAS use are really meant for archiving only. Conversation for another day. But let's get into the features of this $550 NAS. So uh, essentially what we've got here is the four bay model. Uh, you can get a two bay or a six bay. There's a switch right here on the side. You just pop it down and this panel slides right off to reveal the four uh, three and a half inch hard disk drive bays. And you know, it's as simple as pressing down on that lever, pulling one of these guys out and you mount your drive there. So just throw a drive in and just pop it right back in and you're in business. But that's not where the storage ends here. Um, and also it's important to note that the beauty of a NAS is that it essentially is a server, if you will. Uh, we've got an Intel quad core processor on board. It's an Intel Celeron uh, N5095, uh, you know, Intel UHD graphics uh, are integrated. We have four gigs of DDR4 RAM, which you can upgrade up to 16 gigs. Uh, they do make an eight gig model as well. For those of you that are wondering, it's a little bit more expensive. I think it's closer to $600. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, again, if you want to upgrade to 16 gigs, you can. I don't foresee the need, but we'll see as I start putting this thing uh, through the paces. Now, in addition to the four bays you see here, which of course don't only support three and a half inch, but also, uh, of course, two and a half inch uh, solid state drives, if you choose to go that route, you can also throw in two M.2 NVMe drives, specifically 2280 drives, which I also have. That's another modern feature of the TS-464 that I thought was incredibly attractive. In addition to that, you also have the upgrade ability um, with a PCIe uh, slot on the back that you'll see in a moment when I flip this thing around. We also have multiple USB uh, ports as well as an HDMI uh, 2.1 on the back. So pretty impressive. That means you can actually drive 4K video from it. I mean, this is about as full featured as you're going to get, again, at a $550 price point. And I think that it really appeals to just about everyone, you know, whether you're an enthusiast, um, again, uh, you know, this is really going to cover just about everything you need. Now, if you need to have more bays, you need more bays. Um, and that I can't help you with, but part of the beauty of this is that as I flip it around to the back in a moment, it also has the ability to connect to, let's say, more drives. So I've got a Sabrent uh, 10 bay uh, storage housing that gives you 10 of these slots. Um, and I'll be able to connect that to this, expanding the four all the way up to 10. So really the sky is the limit if you're creative. And again, um, highly recommend these guys. Not my first time working with them. Uh, when you're, you know, essentially investing in an as, get the right type of storage. Do yourself a favor. I think these are running right now about 350 bucks, might be 380, somewhere around there. Now we've got 22 terabyte capacity. And trust me, once I start uh, capturing these uh, HDV tapes, 
which they're going to be really large in spite of the fact that, you know, they're only full HD because of the way I'll be capturing them. And granted, I can play with that a little bit, but there's only so much that I can do. So as I clear some room out, first thing I want to point out is the power button right here. Uh, we have a type A port right there. And then I believe that this button lets you straight off on the fly, just duplicate uh, essentially what you're dumping off through that port. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll stand uh, corrected, of course. Um, and this is a pretty small enclosure. As you look at it here, you should get an idea of that. And on the back here, you're going to see the port selection, uh, which is, again, I think pretty impressive. There's that uh, PCI E slot, which I don't plan on using, but the fact that we've got it is certainly very nice to have the upgradability. I mean, it just gives you more headroom. Uh, so we have our USB ports right here. They're all type A, as you may have already noticed, that HDMI out. We have a Kensington lock. And then down here, uh, another nice feature, we have two two and a half gigabit uh, Ethernet ports. And then of course the DC uh, in for power. Nice large fan to keep this cool. Hopefully it runs quiet. From what I read, it pretty much does. And that's that's pretty much the whole deal here to show you at least on day one with the TS-464. Uh, I mean, again, form factor is right. Um, it's a combination of metal and plastic build. Uh, this plastic door easily slides on and off to give it that finished look. And I think it's a nice machine. Now, QNAP sent this to me a while back um, I'm finally getting around to it. I'm just happy to be there now that I've got the, um, the Sony HDV t uh, deck. Um, things are really coming together nicely. I've got a lot more storage beyond these two 20 terabyte drives. How many of those I'll be putting in here, I'll determine over time, but I'm going to start with these two and just build my way up. Again, uh, I'll eventually show all of you that build uh, using this in conjunction with that Saverin 10 bay drive. I also have a four bay drive, or it might be a five. So we'll see how that works out. But again, I really see the TS-464 as being highly adaptable, having a really solid feature set. You know, you essentially, this is a little server, if you will. And whether or not you want to keep it local, as I mentioned, for security purposes, you know, keep it offline so that your data cannot be uh, you know, taken hostage, if you will. Uh, and alternatively, if you want to keep it networked, so you ditch all of those uh, services, it's really up to you what you want to do. I mean, I, that's entirely up to the user and how they plan to utilize a network attached storage device like this one. But again, this checked every box for me. And that's why uh, when I was communicating with QNAP, I said the TS-464 looks like a perfect solution. So here it is. Again, I also thought it was ideal for a very wide array of users, uh, my subscribers, all of you that come to the channel on a regular basis to digitally digest, if you will. Uh, but that pretty much rounds things out. Excited to, to get this thing set up, start using it, converting all of those HDV tapes over there, which, as I mentioned, are going to take up a ridiculous amount of storage. And even the content I shoot for the channel, I mean, my average videos, uh, 4K 60, 10-bit content off of the FX3, they average, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 gigs. I've had much larger files, depending on how long the reviews are. This one's going to be a little bit of a ditty itself, even though it's just a first look. But you get the idea. All of that has to go somewhere. And when you have something like this, you have a place to send it. And also, you don't want, you know, I know a lot of you use external hard drives, whether they're, you know, hard disk drives like these or NVMe drives that are much faster. Uh, but, you know, you don't really want drives like this, or I don't want drives like this connected to a system that's built for speed. And that's another reason to have a NAS. You know, keep all of that data archiving and storage separate from your computing experience, but still accessible. And that's really why I've always uh, had a NAS, uh, you know, at one point or another. Uh, and now I'm just excited to have a new one. But that pretty much rounds things out. Uh, pretty cool looking NAS from QNAP. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.